Hello, 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 hello. Hey, Pastor Dudley. I call you Pastor Dudley. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, every. Hi, Isabel. Thank you for joining in. Thank you guys for joining in. Thank you for joining in. I'm gonna give it a few seconds. Hey, Verlon. Hey, Verlon. My new uh, website people. Thank you guys for joining in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for uh, inviting followers already. Thank you. Appreciate. Appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dudley. I really appreciate it. I think that's what family's supposed to do. We're supposed to support each other. So, um, so basically, guys, thank you so much for jumping on my afternoon scope. I know you guys have such a busy schedule uh, today, and so I just wanted to jump on quickly. First of all, for those of you who are replaying this, uh, for all my replayers, thank you so much for replaying this and inviting your followers and your... Hey! Taylor, Taylor, man. Hey, how are you? Um, and for the replayers, thank you so much for jumping on and sharing this uh, broadcast with your followers and your Twitter family. You are so amazing to me, and thank you all and everyone that's on now. Thank you so much for just jumping on. So basically, um, we've been this week. We've been talking about. Um, thank you, Beauty Scopes. Thank you. Uh, we've been talking about custom wigs. Hey, Isabella. We've been talking about custom custom wigs, um, how to, st um, uh, picking custom wigs, how to, um, you know, just mainly everything about custom wigs. So today what I decided to do, and also how to take care of your natural hair up under your custom wig. So, um, Atlanta, so, um, Here's the thing, we're gonna to talk today, just give you a few couple of tips on how to style your custom wigs, okay? So first of all, you wanna use the best quality of hair, which is your 100% Remy Virgin Indian human hair. You're gonna use that. You, I mean, you know, you could do custom wigs with any other kind of hair, but you wanna use the best quality hair. You're gonna get the best, um, the best outcome you know, towards that. So the first thing you want to do is when you have, when you get a custom wig done, you want to, you can use your fingers and you can kind of shake your hair like this just to give it a nice little style. You can rub your hand, your fingers through it just to give it a nice little style or whatever. You can use your fingers. So you can use your fingers for that. Okay. For finger styling. I call it finger styling. And then you want to use only the quality brushes that you want to use combs and other styling um high natural life soaps thank you so much for joining um you want to use the fine quality wig brushes combs and any other styling um 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 uh, accessories this is going to make wig make it the excuse me wig styling easy okay so now the thing you don't want to do is what's the difference between the malaysian and indian actually to be honest with you there is no difference and i'm gonna do it to um a periscope on you know really learning what the difference in hair is there is no difference between malaysian there's no difference between um all of its indian hair okay when you get the 100 percent pure remy you know what? The reason why wigs are too heavy is because of the the uh, the cap that they're using. So if you get a custom wig, the custom wig they're made from a thinner uh, wig cap, okay? And so I have a, a tutorial that I do on that as well. So you can follow me at Tanisha Bibbs, and I will show you what that looks like. Um, also, you want to use a wide tooth comb, okay? This is going to help keep the longevity of your custom wig. Now, when you use 100% pure, yeah, the caps are too big. You, when you get, when you do a custom wig, the, hello, um, Desire, thank you for joining. When you do a custom wig, you'll get the caps. Um, the caps are thinner and they're more uh, skin-based or, you know, more lace-based, okay? So when you use a Y2 comb for curly hair, you're gonna use a Y2 comb for any curly um, hair wigs, and then you wanna use a wire brush for straight styles, okay, for straightening styles. This is gonna keep the longevity of your custom wig. Now, when you use a 100% Remy Pure Virgin Indian human hair, you're gonna get a 
three to four year wear out of your custom wig, okay? Custom wigs are just designed for easy access where if you want to run to the grocery store, if you want to, if you're going to church and you're like, man, I can't go to get my hair done, you pop on your custom wig. I don't like the regular factory made wigs because they're too heavy. They're hot, you sweat them out, and as soon as you get in the car, you're pulling them off. Okay, so I love custom wigs because they're no fuss and they, I'm telling you, you won't even sweat. Okay, now, a couple more things to um, know uh, tips on styling custom wigs is when you want to avoid using standard brushes. Okay, this will cause severe pulling of the mm -hmm. hair shaft and it also will start pulling your um your wig, yep, you got the connection on ordering, ordering, yes. And so um, when brushing your custom wig, you wanna start at the end, which is the end. Here's the end of your custom wig when you're brushing it, and you're gonna go all the way up, okay? This is supposed to be the root area, but you're gonna go all the way up to the crown, your crown area to brush um, your uh, custom wig, okay? When you are using custom wig, always, always use a wig stand, okay? Never just take your custom wig, put it in um, a plastic bag and just throw it. You put, you use a wig stand, okay? The wig stand is going to help preserve it. If you want to put a plastic over it, you can do that. But you want to preserve your hair and keep your hair healthy and, um, you know, looking good, okay? So now you also can use a electric rollers or a pin curl method. And this afternoon, I'm going to be jumping back on scope. So you guys follow me. I'm going to show you um, mm -hmm. some more styles on how to do a pin curl style on a custom wig and then wrap it up and then put it up for the next day and things like that so you can always have your hair laid okay um and your electric rollers as well F um so you'll follow me on tonight for a practical demonstration on that okay now if you experience tangling okay and this is my last tip but if you experience tangling always always use a wire brush or a wide tooth comb this is going to help remove all of your tangles. A lot of times people say to me, well, you know what? I did it and it just tangled up. It's all in how you shampoo. It's all in, do you have one on that? Yes, this is one custom that I made. Yes. And um, it's all in how you shampoo. It's all in how you, um, you wrap the hair. It's all in what products you use. So it's so much entail with it, but it's so easy once you get it. Hey, Nadine from New York. Oh my God. I got Nadine. Learn hair and do. Hey, Nadine. It's so great to um, connect with you on Periscope. So guys, I just wanted to jump on real quick this afternoon scope. You know, I really thank you guys for the love and um, also inviting all your followers. I will be jumping back on tonight to show you a couple of styles on how to um, do pin curl styles on your custom wig as well as a roller set on your custom wig. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you know what? It's okay because you can always go to catch.me and you can go to Tanisha Bibbs and you can see a couple of my other scopes um, that I've been talking about custom wigs. Thank you guys so much for um, the love and come jumping on. Oh, thank you so much, Isabella. I'm glad I was able to help. You guys, that was my last question. I was going to say, if this, if this was great and helpful to you, please show me some love and let me know. Thank you guys so much. Until this afternoon, I will see you all later. You have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon.